Hey Gemini, what's up guys? I hope everybody is well. So we're gonna go ahead and do a what you don't see coming, okay? That is what was voted for in the community tab. So if that's something that interests you, do stick around. Gemini, if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Jessica. Please take a look at my description box because that's gonna have all the information that you would need to know. And yes, this is a Gemini channel. Mm -hmm. However, if you vibe, you tribe. So go ahead and make yourself comfortable. Gemini, if you're returning, welcome back. I hope that you're well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. I do hope that you're doing what's best for you, boo. Thank you for all the love, all the support. Gemini, thank you so much for all the good vibes. It really does mean the world, okay? Obviously, these cards want to speak. We're not going to do a yes or no or a power animal. We're just going to get right into it, old-fashioned style, okay? We have the turtle that came out, guys, and there's this energy here of like something that you did not expect to move you did not expect to happen. Maybe it was like at a turtle's pace, okay? Or at like a snail pace. Like it was just stopped. It stopped, okay? There's something about that. Maybe somebody tucked their head in their turtle shell or something like that, okay? Um, there's this energy here of this moving again, okay? Maybe you're feeling, maybe something you don't uh, see coming is that you're feeling motivated to move towards something. Maybe you had told yourself that never again, because that's what I'm getting. I'm getting somebody who's told themselves never again, and yet here we go, okay? There's something about that. Maybe something you don't see coming is that you're going to be turtly enough for the turtle club. I don't know, okay? There's something here where maybe somebody wants to invite you into their life, into their community, into their group, their job, their, I, I, I don't know, their situation. Uh, some of you guys could be invited to go on a podcast or you could be interviewed or um, somebody is really interested in your work, Gemini. They're interested in you. They're interested in what you do. Somebody has their eyes on you, which I feel like that's nothing new, but hey, it's something that you don't see coming, okay? So we see some kind of movement here. And you know, you could have a lot of energy that's coming at you, good and not so good, guys. You know the deal, but there's this energy here with your shell. Your shell is very strong, okay? And you can take a hit, Gemini. There's something here where it's like you are stronger than what you believe. You're stronger than what you know. You might feel, I feel like Spirit wants to come through real quick and just say that I know that you feel scared or I know you feel apprehensive. I know you feel worried about the uncertain, the unknown, right? The darkness of the future. Um, some of you guys feel like the dark, the future doesn't feel so bright. It feels kind of dark up ahead. Um, but that's just because you have this bend to get around, right? Once you get around this bend, Spirit's saying that it's going to be bright. So there's something really bright up ahead, guys, okay? And you don't see this coming. Right now, you might have a lot of things that are blocking your vision. You might have a lot of things that are obscuring things or um, making you feel a certain type of way. I do feel like the darkness could be attacking somebody right now, especially if you have made a a major decision or you're on the verge of that or something really special has entered your life um yeah the darkness is like attacking somebody look they're like you rang <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> it's like i don't know and the darkness was like damn foiled again i don't know there's something about that though like yes the darkness is attacking somebody a situation um especially if something good something honest something pure is about to enter your life they're like hell no we don't want you happy we don't want you smiling around here we like you down we like you depressed we like you sad we like you alone right we like you separated from every from everybody and everything we don't want you to have hope right? So there's something here where something has maybe entered your life or it's about to, um, or you're on, you know, the verge of a new beginning, right? Uh, the darkness is like, hell nah, okay? So that's for some of you guys. Know that you do have um, protection here. You are protected just divinely, right? Just by how you move, how you, you know, how, how you're, how you have set yourself up, Gemini, right? You have very strong boundaries. You're a realist. You don't take no shit. Okay. That alone protects you. All right. But on a spiritual level, you are very protected as well. Now we're going to get a lot of cards. We're just going to pull from different decks and see what comes out. Okay. We'll clarify with tarot what we feel like we need to. All right. For sure. That's going to be too many. So what does Gemini not see coming currently, Spirit? What does Gemini not see coming? Let's find out. What does Gemini not see? We have the dragon, strength, and wisdom. So there is going to be some clarity in a situation, okay? You're going to get some kind of clarity in a situation that you have, you've had a lot of answers, or excuse me, a lot of questions in regards to. You are safe from harm, right? 
So some of you, you need that wisdom. You need that clarity to know that it's okay to move forward. It's okay to go ahead with something or to have this fresh start or everything's going to be okay or you've made the right decision or you're on the right path, right? It's like some of you guys need that reassurance from the divine and I do feel like that is coming in, okay? Um, there's something where you've experienced something or you will experience something that it's going to bring this wisdom that's going to give you the strength to move forward, okay? Spirit wants you to know that you are protected. You you have a shield of honor. Some of you have earned this. I'm hearing from a past life. Some of you have earned this from this lifetime. Gemini, I just feel like you're a good person. You know, I feel like you're not intentionally out here trying to fuck with people, hurt people. You're kind of just, you have very, um, I want to say humble wishes, humble prayers for yourself, for other people's. You genuinely want to see people around you do better, at least the people I'm talking to, right? Um, you, gen you genuinely want to see people do better. You want to see the world be a better place, okay? Sometimes you sacrifice too. You sacrifice your own wants and needs and how you're feeling in a situation to help other people feel better. Like you might notice that people around you um, can't continue on or they can't do something. So you pick up the slack, right? Um, people might need favors from you and really you're not in the position to give those favors or in the energy or you really need to take care of yourself, but you're willing to help other people. It's like spirit sees that and acknowledges that, okay? Acknowledges that goodwill and that good natured energy that you have because let's just be real here. In this world, there's not a lot of it. We are far and few in between of genuinely good people, people who are not, you know, putting on this face of I'm a good person to get what they want or to get over on people or to excel in a situation. You're just good just to be good, Gemini, you know, and that's something that's kind of rare. So there's something here where spirit wants you to know that that clarity is coming through to show you that you are being protected. Now, for some of you, there is going to be some tea or some information. Somebody might come and expose something to you. They might bring you some facts. They might tell you how they're feeling about a certain situation. Again, maybe there's been <clears throat> this energy of like, I'm not going to move forward until I find out exactly what's going on or what the truth is of this situation. Okay. So that could be for some of you. Spirit is saying to only open up to those that you truly trust. And if you feel like you can't trust anybody right now, again, the clarity is going to come through to show you who you can trust. But I do feel like there's this energy here of like not letting everybody know your every move right now, which I don't feel like we need to tell you that, but I'm just saying spirit saying it. So what else does uh, Gemini not see coming, Spirit? Let's find out. What else does Gemini not see coming? We have the talisman coming out. You are destined to succeed. I'm telling you. And for me, when I see that, I'm like, huh? Like, of course, Gemini is destined to succeed. Why would they not see that coming? But I understand that sometimes it's easier for other people to see our greatness versus ourselves. When I read cards for you guys, I see the greatness. I see it all the time. Like, the cards are just dripping with greatness, right? And so, for me... I'm just like, of course they're destined to succeed, duh, right? Um, but for you, it might not be as simple as that. Again, what I had said in the beginning, there's something here where you're on your path, there's darkness, and you're like, oh, oh no, am I hitting a dead end? What's going on? But you have to just go around this bend, okay? They're singing Pocahontas just around the river bend, okay? Um, and there's going to be that light there. And that's what the, look, Gemini. Spirit is definitely doubling down on this. Somebody needs to hear it. I don't know who needs to hear it, but this is a very prevalent message here. Okay, you are safe from harm. Um, unseen forces watch over you. They reminded me of that time where I, the first time I called on Archangel Michael, because I think I've told you guys before, at one point, I didn't really believe in angels. Um, I thought that was kind of fanciful and silly. Um, even as a tarot reader, I, I just, the, the beginning, before I got on YouTube, because I've been reading tarot since before YouTube, but before I got on YouTube, I didn't really believe in angels. I was like, eh. My best friend, on the other hand, she definitely believes in angels. She's written books about them. Um, she, you know, has always kind of encouraged me to open myself up to that. And I was like, yeah, okay, whatever, right? Well, I was going through a really tough time and I remember I was in the shower. I had gotten a, bl a pitch black shower because I do like to get showers in the dark for whatever reason. And I got a pitch black shower and I was sitting on the shower floor and I was, you know, just rocking back and forth. And I was like, I need help. I need help. I was like, Archangel Michael, if you're here and you can protect me, I, I would appreciate that. Right? <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, I would like that. If, you were, if you're real and you could step in, that would be great. Um, and then all of a sudden... The room just, it was like a bright, like a flash had almost went off. Like somebody had flashed a picture. That's what happened. 
and it was dark again. And suddenly I felt just calm. I felt protected. I felt like somebody was like, step aside, little one, right? I got this. That's the kind of energy I felt. And it was almost like a, a protector. It was very masculine. And it was like, you know, almost like likened to like a father type of energy, like a protective father or a protective brother or uncle or, or, or guy friend or something like a male that's here to protect you. That's what it felt like for me personally. Okay. So for some of you, there could be something like that. That's going to happen unexpectedly. You might see the strength, the power of the divine and how it's protecting you. Okay. Some of you guys could have physical contact with one of your spirit guides or one of your guardians. Okay. Your guardian angels or something. Anyways, the talisman, it says you are destined to succeed. It's written in the stars, Gemini. It's written in the stars. Okay. And even though you might not be able to see that right now, because this is what you don't see coming, just know that this is what's happening. You are destined to succeed in something. You're going to be successful. There's going to be some kind of recognition that comes through. The emerald in the middle is making me feel like there's going to be a lot of wealth or there's going to be some kind of like regality here, right? A level up in your status or in who you are. This is happening. All right. <clears throat> it is. It's happening. The hand of fate forces beyond your control intervene. So you have been possibly picked up and placed somewhere else. OK, for some of you guys or maybe right now, it feels like everything's out of control. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what's up, what's down. I'm just kind of a guest in my own life right now in my own circumstances on my path. But spirit wants you to know that that's happening for a reason. They're putting you somewhere. Gemini, rejuvenation, fulfillment. This is my Ace of Cups card. This is going to come, okay? What you don't see coming, there could be a love offer on the way for some of you guys. Um, for others of you, there's going to be opportunity to rest. There's going to be opportunity to heal something. Uh, maybe some of you guys don't see something healing. Uh, it could be something that you've dealt with for a very long time. It could be um, some kind of ache or pain or... I don't know, a condition that you've had for a while, Gemini, and this is about to heal unexpectedly, okay? I'm hearing, I'm going to show you my mercy, okay? Some of you might not look at spirit as a merciful being. Some of you might look at spirit as somebody that you have to barter with or you have to kind of like prove things too and i i feel like it depends on your connection with spirit because i would it would be really ignorant for me to get up here and be like but that's not the truth spirit feels this way and spirit feels that way you know i can only speak for my life and my connection that i have with the divine everybody's connection is unique and different as it should be but i feel like for some of you guys you feel like spirit's somebody that you have to or something that you have to barter with or you have to kind of pee a please right? Like I have to please you. If I don't please you, you're going to send thunderbolts and locusts and all kinds of shit to my door. Okay. But spirit wants you to know that you have been going through something, going through the gauntlet to gain some kind of strength and wisdom. You are destined to succeed. You are one of its chosen ones is what I'm getting. And I'm hearing, I'm going to show you my mercy. Okay. Cause I don't know. There's something here where spirit has been merciful for you, but maybe you haven't felt like that. Like maybe some of you guys have asked for something to be removed or something to be changed. And it felt like the tower energy. It felt very sudden or very harsh or brash and spirits like that is my mercy. I'm removing you from a situation. I, you know, there's this energy of like, if it didn't give a crap, if it didn't care, or if you weren't significant in any kind of way, it would let you sit in that energy. You figure it out. You get out of there. Right. You put yourself into that mess, you figure it out. Because there are some people that do feel that way. They feel like they have to climb themselves out of the pit. And maybe that's significant for your soul's journey or something, Gemini, if that resonates for you. But I'm getting this energy here of like spirit wanting to show you that I'm taking you out, I'm moving you, I'm I'm being a force in your life, and that shows you that I'm merciful, that I, you know, that you are significant. I don't know why that's important for somebody to hear, but it is. Okay, feathers could be significant because they're showing me feathers. You might find feathers in your house because some of you guys are like, yeah, I go out in nature. I find feathers. Whoop de doo right? Uh, there's birds are out there. Of course, I'm going to see feathers, right? Like eventually, right? Some of you guys are going to find a feather that there's no way it could have been in your house. Okay, so this is like you're going to find a black feather or a hawk feather, or an eagle feather, a blue feather. Some of you guys might find a tiny little hummingbird feather. You're going to find a feather that it's like there's no way that it could have come from my house. So if you have feather pillows, it's not going to be a feather that could have been in a pillow. It's something where it's like, how did this get here? Or there's going to be something. Okay, there's going to be some kind of significant sign. You're going to find something. It could be a button. It could be a pin. It could be, um, they're showing me like a safety pin. Okay. 
or you're going to hear something. Maybe you're going to hear bells. I don't know. There's something that's going to happen in your house, guys. Like some kind of significant sign. Oh, I'm getting goosebumps. There's going to be some kind of significant sign that's going to come through. So what do we have here for Gemini gang? Gosh, the goosebumps are, are big here. That's too many guys. What do we have here for Gemini? What uh, do they not see coming? What do they not see coming? Ugh, guys, I'm sorry. If that happens again, we'll just take the top card. What do they not? Oh, what do they not see coming? What do they not see coming? Oh, the moon, it had flips. Okay, you will be guided through the darkness. Look at that. Wow. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> Considering like what I've been saying this whole time, like right now you do feel like there is some kind of darkness or right now you, you do feel like you're unsure of the path ahead. Let's use the aesthetic oracle, the first one, the original one. Okay, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. I haven't used this one in a minute. All right, so uh, what does Gemini not see coming here? Ooh, okay, look, the ancestors. Wow, coming out right under that dragon energy, it just feels powerful. Yeah, your ancestors are kicking ass, okay? There's some kind of negative energy that wants to skew your vision. It wants to confuse you. It wants to turn you away from something that your ancestors has sent as a blessing. I almost feel like this could be a person. It could be a situation. Um, whatever it is, it's like you've decided to go down a path or something has entered your life. It is a blessing. And there's something here where um, there's a negative energy that's kind of around it, attached to it. Okay. Now, some of you guys, if you've met somebody recently, this person could have a lot of spiritual warfare that follows them and goes on around them. So unfortunately, you would be it's almost like um what do they call that collateral damage there's something about that where it's like so this, take it as it resonates because for some of you this is you for others of you this is somebody else there's somebody and that's how I'm gonna say it there's somebody who they have a lot of spiritual warfare that goes on around them the darkness is always checking for them they have a very strong light okay so the darkness is always trying to snuff that thing out in many different ways one of the ways that the darkness likes to snuff this person's light out is to cause issues with their emotional uh, feelings their emotional strength because this person is an empath they are extremely emotional they have a very big heart it makes me want to cry Whew. i don't know why this is <laughs> i don't know why this is making me so emotional but it is um, this person has a really big heart. They care a lot and genuinely. Um, and so this, the darkness likes to attack people around this person to get people to treat this person bad, do things that they wouldn't normally do. And then after the, I don't know if you want to call it a spell is broken. Even the people around them might be like, why the fuck would I treat this person like that? They're a good person. They're kind to me. They, they don't mean any harm. Why would I do that? Why did I do that? There's this energy here because the darkness works people. Okay, so there could be something here like that that's happening where there's something significant showing up here, Gemini, that your ancestors have blessed. They've blessed whatever this is, and there's darkness, okay, that is trying to tempt this person in another direction or the situation to go afoul, or it's something here with you where it's like you're feeling temptations, you're feeling the darkness, you're feeling the. Uh, it could be, the, it doesn't have to be another person that's tempting you or something like that, Gemini. It could be the tempting energy of oh, this isn't going to work. They're all going to laugh at you, right? You've made a horrible decision. You're a piece of shit. Nobody will ever love you. Nobody will ever care about you. Nothing ever is going to work out for you. It's like the darkness creeping in, okay? Your ancestors want you to know that they have blessed something, that you are blessed, okay? And they're giving you some kind of strength and wisdom. Some of you guys are getting downloads from the divine. And these, this is wisdom that your ancestors held. Some of you might wake up with like healing energy, healing hands, um, the, the ability to see things, right? The ability to hear further than what you were hearing. Like your psychic abilities could definitely be enhancing here, okay? When it comes to um, a gift from your ancestors. Some of you guys could be getting an, a gift that your ancestors had. Okay, or if you already have a gift that your ancestors had, they're saying it's time to start being a little bit more serious about this and really studying up, practicing, developing this gift because it's something here that could be connected to your success or your destiny. What else do we have here that Gemini does not see coming? Oh Lord, the bird bitches, right? Okay. <laughs> 
you know how it's like i was just saying that the darkness likes to attack light the darkness it's for me it's almost like i expect it i expect when good things happen for something almost equally bad or something to kind of sway me or make me feel doubt will happen okay for some of you there are bird bitches around you that are seeing that you're gonna have some kind of success and they don't like it i don't know why there's so much hateration okay in the dancery going on I, I have no idea but there's something here where okay i'm also getting another message for some of you guys there's been some plots and there's been some plans on the sidelines that maybe you weren't aware of maybe some of you guys were because your intuition is popping so i doubt that i'm ever going to tell you guys anything that you don't already know to be honest with you um i feel like i just confirm things with tarot sometimes which is fine but there's this energy here of maybe like you felt like there's people plotting or you felt like this person doesn't like you or you felt like this person has ulterior motives or something here okay Obviously, with success here, it could be connected to your success. It could be connected to your career. It could also be connected to your overall sense of well-being, right? Your mental health. Because if your mental health is down, everything's going to be down, okay? So there's something here where there's been bird bitches plotting. And what you don't see coming is these, these bird bitches are about to start eating each other alive. I don't know why I'm getting that. Like, they're about to ascend on each other. I feel like they see that you are so protected or that something is going in your favor regardless of their efforts, right? Um, my nose is itching. So these people could have been really nosy or this is just a sign that your ancestors are here protecting you or both, right? But there's this energy here of like they're going to start squawking at each other. There's like a main one that was kind of calling all the shots and now you have like the little footstool soldiers or whatever right the little flying monkeys they're like squawking at this main one they're like well you said that this was going to work out if we did this now my ass is on the line and i'm going to let you know my ass will not be on the line right like there's something about that like i'm not going down for you i will sing like a canary there's something about that like somebody has some kind of plan or something guys it didn't work out the way that they thought it would you are heavily protected and you are being guided through the darkness right you have the strength and the wisdom to know better and you got your ancestors and some of your ancestors just don't play right like some of you have very powerful ancestors okay um to the point of where it's like they don't got nothing better to do they're sitting around there on the other side right just twiddling their thumbs they might as well kick some ass some of your ancestors like kicking ass right like they were in the military or they were warriors or they were just you know vigilantes or something like that like your ancestors like a good fight so they're like hey we're here for it okay we are definitely here for it so the bird bitches are scrambling okay i'm getting that energy very strongly and you do not see this coming um yeah they are so pissed at you <laughs> i'm sorry guys they are so mad damn why are you mad right <laughs> Why are you so mad? Okay, I'm hearing that song too um, from Mariah Cara. Mariah Cara. <laughs> Mariah Carey. Uh, why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, I want to know. <laughs> Lying that you sexing me when everybody knows. It's clear that you're upset with me. There's something about that. Like, I don't know, guys. These people got way too much fucking time. I feel like there's not enough hours in the day. And these people got time to, like, create a whole plot and plan to fuck somebody else's life up. Like, what is going on? Their life must be going really well. They must not have any problems or any stresses if they got all the time in the world to sit there and worry about what somebody else is doing or how can we make them feel this type of way. Like, come on now. All right? Give me something else for what Gemini don't see coming here. All right? What does Gemini not see coming, spirit? Oh, Lord. <laughs> These cards are flying. Look, I love this. I know that I said, I, I think I said it, that I wanted the intention to, be, I, maybe I didn't, but I, was, I thought it, uh, that the intention was to kind of have each card be a separate thing, but it kind of feels like they're all tying together, which is fine here. Okay, so what you don't see coming, Gemini, I feel like Spirit just really wants to confirm some things because some of you guys could really feel like you're in the darkness right now. I do get this energy here of Spirit wanting you to be on the same page with yourself. Yes, this talks about a soulmate connection, of course, but I feel like since we are the sign of the twins, it's, it's good to be on the same page with yourself because if you're fighting yourself, you might feel a little lost right now. Some of you guys could have somebody that's reading the fine print in regards to you or you're reading the fine print in regards to them. Take it as it resonates, okay? Um, there's this energy here of a message that's going to show up, okay? There could have been a sign to clear the energy or something like that, okay? 
Some of you guys could be feeling like you're in a dark situation when it comes to connecting with the person or connecting with the situation. You're going to be led through that, right? So there's this energy here of um, having hope or having faith that things are going to work out for you because right now it might not feel like things are going to work out. Let's see. What else do we want to get here? I want to pull from these cards. What does Gemini not see coming here? What does Gemini not see coming, spirit? Oh, I'm only taking one at a time. I, I get to make some rules up every once in a while too, spirit, okay? So I'm only pulling from one at a time here. Okay, thank you. We have Odin, psychic insight. Yeah, look, with that dragon and the ancestors, come on now. Your third eye is open. See the truth for what it is. Follow your intuition. Follow it. There's something here where it's like you need to see a situation for what it is, for better or worse, because there can be a self-sabotaging energy too. Something could be really good and you could be like, no, there's no way, there's no way, it's not good. I, the, the other shoe is going to drop eventually, right? The trap door peak, is going to be uh, pushed eventually and I'm going to fall, right? There's something bad that's going to happen, but I feel like your intuition is leading you in a certain direction or it's leading you towards something or your intuition is trying to tell you to trust, open up, whatever, guys. Take Take it as it resonates. Either way, your intuition is increasing here. And that might be something you don't see coming, especially for my super psychics that are out there already. They're like, how much more? How much more? Okay, I ask you, how much more could my intuition increase here? Like, I just don't see that. Okay, like I'm already seeing everything, feeling everything. I feel like I got to lock myself away. How much more could it increase? But hold on. Hold on, guys. <laughs> we have the divine director on the bottom of the deck this is my spirit card in this deck it says intervention and purpose divine intervention is occurring know that you are being guided happiness is your purpose damn okay i don't know if it's just me but that feels super intense like happiness because some of you guys might be like what's my purpose what am i supposed to do what's going on right <laughs> like you're like spinning around okay like one of those spinners i don't know what they're called Maybe they are called spinners. I don't know. I feel like you guys will know what it is. Y'all are way smarter than me. But there's this energy here of like, you, but you're spinning. And you're like, well, what am I supposed to be doing? You're supposed to be happy. What makes you happy, Gemini? It's really that simple, okay? So for some of you guys, you are very powerful. For some of you, um, there's something here with the eyes. Maybe you have like a cyborg eye or something. Like one eye sees something clearer than the other or you have a psychic eye or you could have something going on with your eyes where they're different or something here. Some of you guys might have like a long beard or something. Maybe you're putting braids in your beard. Some of you guys could have Viking uh, ancestry here for sure. Okay. The Valkyrie is what I'm hearing. So yeah, some of you guys are actually like spiritual warriors that have chosen for whatever reason to incarnate. You know what they're giving me? They're giving me the energy of like, this world needs protectors. This world needs people who are gonna go up there, kick ass, not take any names, right? Just kick ass, okay? Do what they need to do um, for justice, for reason, for the good of all. And it's like, we don't have a lot of people like that. You know, you watch these reels and stuff of people being picked on or um, bad things happening and people just sit there and they either just film right? Or they don't do anything. It's like, that's not your role here. You're not here to just do nothing. You're not here to just stand by and film or lower your head when you see like an old lady getting the, the shit kicked out of her. Like that's not your deal. Okay. You are here to protect, protect the innocent, protect the people that can't protect themselves, Gemini. And while you do need to have strong boundaries, we can't just be out here being Captain save -a -ho, That's for sure. Because some people don't deserve protection. You'll know. It's like you, it's like they're giving me the energy of like the equalizer here. Okay, if you've seen that movie with Denzel Washington, it's like this energy here of like you'll know those who deserve protection and who don't. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, some of you guys have a very strong ancestor that's going to connect with you through a psychic um, vision or something that's quite physical. Okay. So take that as it, res uh, as it resonates, guys. We have the Kali Ma. It says, facing fear, major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to soar. Damn. These cards are powerful. Let's get another one, please. For Oh. These cards are powerful, but yet annoying because they're flying everywhere. 
That could just be the energy though, because the energy feels really like strong and like almost a little bit like a frenzied type of energy. What do we have here? We have the Joan of Arc, the voice of truth. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. I don't know who this would be for guys. This is for obviously for one person. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but somebody was Joan of Arc. Like you've had visions of being burned at the stake or you've had visions of riding into battle or something. I don't know, there's something about that. Or that's just your spirit animal energy, right? Like Joan of Arc, we have a lot of warrior energy out here. Focus on your purpose and what is your purpose? We saw that, to be happy, right? So stand strong, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth, Gemini. Coming out right on top of the bird, bitches. Yeah, cause somebody might ask you, somebody could be French. Um, somebody might ask you like, well, what gives you the right to do this, to do that? You know, somebody could definitely want to confront you or question you about your choices, about you know, what you what you choose to do, how you practice your faith, who you choose to love, who you want to be with, how you raise your kids, right? How you dress, how you speak. There's something here where it's like, it's almost giving like the audacity. It's almost giving like, why is that any of your fucking business? First of all, first of all, answer that for me. And then I'll answer what you want to know. Tell me how this is some of your business right now. Like that's the kind of energy it's giving me. So I feel like there's a need to really stand in your power, speak your truth and be like, no, this is like this because one, two, three, right? This is how I feel. There's something about that, guys. Because you have like naysayers or you have people squawking around you like, well, why would Gemini do this? Why would Gemini want to be with that person? Don't they know how this is going to look? Or don't they? It's like something like that, guys. <clears throat> okay. Or you have people at work that are questioning your choices or something like that. And it's like, who are you to question me? You know, if you're not paying bills, cooking me food, giving me orgasms, right? Any of those things, then what's your opinion, right? Yeah, I mean, for real, fuck how you feel. Fuck your two cents if it ain't going towards a bill. Yeah, okay? <laughs> from, from the great Sean John or whatever, okay? With that song, I don't fuck with you, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I swear, but yeah, you don't fuck with these people anyway. So it's like, you little stupid ass bitch. All right, what, who are you to come in here and question me or tell me what to do? There's almost this energy of like, Gemini, you've been alone for a while anyways. You've been on your own. You've been on the struggle bus and well, hardly anybody was there. I'm not gonna say nobody was there because I do feel like you have people that have been there that have given you support. Maybe for some of you, nobody was, but for the majority of you, there's been like one or two. So it's like, if you're not those one or two people that have really been A1 since day one in my life, 10 toes down in this bitch, then who are you to even come in here and question me or have anything to say? Some of y'all might pop off and this is not something you don't see coming because maybe you've been nice for a really long time. Maybe this is the kind of energy of like when somebody says something to you, you usually are like, okay, well, whatever, you know, I'll let it go. I won't worry about it. It's like somebody puts their opinion in something that for the last time, that's what I'm getting. And, and I feel like you might say something, okay? Or there could be just a conflict coming up that you're not expecting. And yeah, you're gonna need to voice your truth here. You're gonna need to stand tall. I'm almost getting the energy here of like, you've already released yourself from something and it was like, okay, great. And so you're like, okay, right? Um, and then all of a sudden this person's gonna round back and be like, well, why do you wanna leave? Why do you wanna do this? Why, why? It's like, I, whoa, chill, little motherfucker. <laughs> I thought you were okay with this. Like now all of a sudden you're not. Somebody is really gonna come at you aggressively. I don't know, Gemini, damn. I worry for this person. <laughs> I do, I worry for this person who's gonna come at you really aggressively because I feel like something that they don't see coming is you taking out that sword, right? There's something here about that. Like you keep your sword in its sheath at all times. You really don't want your, you know, you can be about that life, but you're also about the life of being peaceful, walking a peaceful path, right? And there's something here about somebody's about to taste the end of your sword. Like it's going to happen for somebody. We have light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Wow. So what you don't see coming, Gemini, is your light is about to shine really bright for some of you guys. This internal guidance is about to get so loud that you cannot ignore it. That might be something that you don't see coming. There could be a situation here where it's like something happens where 
you're not expecting to suddenly be bombarded with signs or you're not expecting for your intuition to go haywire. It's almost like you can't ignore something and you're gonna be led because of that. We have the dolphin coming out. It says investments pay off a harvest, a 401k, financial gain usually coming from something that you did in the past. There could be something that you invested in in the past, Gemini, that's been maybe a little stagnant. It's about to pop off. There could be a 401k or something that you've forgotten about or, or something here. You know, there could be some money coming in that is just completely unexpected, but it is going to be something connected to whatever you did in your past. For some of you, this could be talking about a past life. There could be this energy here of like you did something in a past life that gained you a a stupendous amount of financial um, blessings that were meant to come into the next lifetime. So like for some of you guys, maybe you, you gave a lot in your last life, like to the point of where you were in poverty. <clears throat> okay. And so your soul has this coming, like it has this payback coming. That's almost what I'm getting here. There's something about a childhood like bond or something too, like, um, Something that maybe you put your money into when you were a child and you totally forgot about it or it, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I have no idea what they're talking about, but that's what they're giving me. Okay, that's what they're giving me. We have February. We're going to keep over here. Aquarius and Pisces. News is going to blow in, guys. It's going to be somebody who's a little frosty. I feel that very strongly. This person could be an Aquarius or a Pisces. Okay. All right, what else do we have here for what uh, Gemini does not see coming here? What does Gemini not see coming, spirit? Okay, we have the bull. Wow, okay. Plenty of material things, a glow up, shopping, redecorating, coming out right on top of that, you are destined to succeed. Yeah, it's almost like you're gonna fight your way through something. So what you don't see coming, Gemini, is a financial abundance, a financial increase. There could be somebody coming towards you that wants to offer you a contract or a deal, an opportunity, okay? There could be people around you that are like, what? Why would you want to do that? I don't know. For some of you, there could be here this energy of somebody coming towards you, offering you an opportunity. You need to speak your mind. You need to be very clear on what your standards are, what you expect, how this is going to go, okay? Um, you know, financial aspects of it need to be sorted out. There needs to be a contract, I feel, like a written contract with whatever this is because it's meant to bring you some kind of success. There could be people around this situation that might be a little greedy or they might want to get a little bit of a bigger slice of the pie, if you know what I mean, right? Like we'll say that we're going to give Gemini um, 50%, but we might mm, shave it down to 45. And since you don't have any kind of contract, you're really not in control of that. So there needs to be a contract with something that somebody is going to come towards you and offer you. That is for somebody, okay? For others of you, there's just bird bitches squawking in the background because you've proved them wrong or you're going to prove them wrong. There's something that people are saying that, you know, you're never going to be able to accomplish or this isn't going to work out for you or you're making a huge mistake. You'll never work in this town again, right? It's giving that kind of energy here. And there's almost this feeling of needing to just push past those thoughts. Don't let those thoughts impede on your light, right? You will be shown through the darkness. You are on the right path here. Okay, I feel that very strongly. Even if the path is slow, there's something here where your ancestors are blessing you guys. They're blessing you. I feel that so strongly, okay? Look, you cannot make it up. So I don't know, for some of you guys, suddenly the reading is just talking about money, money, money. So for some of you, there could be something like that going on where you are being led to a very abundant path. Okay. You don't need to fear anything. I was like, what is this card that's right on the top of the deck right here? Success, born to shine. Yes, this is your green light. Um, money will be coming to you. Financial issues will be clearing up. Okay. Um, ships are coming in from a distance. Okay. For some of you guys, you've seen these ships out there. You've been out there on the cliff of change, right? Looking out there at the horizon. And you're like, I see something out there. Is that a pirate ship? Is it a ship of opportunity? Is it a ship of bird bitches? What is it? It's getting closer, Gemini. And this ship, when it appears, you're going to see it's full of like blessings, financial blessings. Now, for some of you guys, this might not all be about money. I do feel like money's coming in for sure. Okay. But I feel like there's also going to be an increase in your health and your overall sense of well being. Like what you don't see coming is something really working out or a situation that feels really good. Okay. I want to clarify some of this. I want to clarify um, 
wh how, why is Gemini going to need to speak their truth in, a, in regards to a situation? I just want to know, guys, because I'm nosy. Why is Gemini going to need to speak their truth? We have the four of pentacles, okay? I feel like somebody's going to want you to hold back from something. Um, this could be somebody wanting you to hold back from a soulmate, okay, or a partnership. Something that's going to bring a lot of abundance into your life or is going to be really lucrative. It's going to be really good. Um, this could be something from your past. This could also be for people from your past. This could be a sibling. This could be um, a friend that you've had forever so they feel like they got the right, right? Because remember how I said, I feel like when this person says this, you're going to be like, what makes you think that's even your business or you even have the right to tell me what to do, right? Some of y'all are way past the age of 18, okay? Some of y'all are adults. You're not adults, you're adults, okay? Like you are way past the age of being able to take care of yourself and guide yourself and somebody's gonna, they baby you or they mother you or they father you or they treat you like you, you, you don't know how to make decisions for yourself, Gemini. Okay, <clears throat> and what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to tell somebody, no, I'm tired of being in this energy where I hold myself back from good things because it makes you feel better or because you don't believe in me or because I don't believe in myself sometimes. No, this is good for me. I'm gonna go after it. I'm gonna invest in this. I'm gonna put my energy into it, right? For some of you guys. Um, now, if this is surrounding money, like a job or a career, yeah, it's kind of the same energy. Like, no, I know what I'm doing. There's somebody here that wants to keep you in survival mode when you really are meant to get past that. The Four of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles, yeah. There's something here where it's like you're meant to invest in something, help something grow, okay? And it is going to grow. That's the thing. Something is definitely going to grow for you, Gemini. You've been working on something. You've been practicing your skill. Some of you guys have just been like, it's been like, almost like, a, I want to say a demon that's possessed you, but they're not giving me a better example, okay? But that's what they're giving me, like something has possessed you where it's like you're like a mad person and you have to work on this. You have to go in this direction. You have to invest in this. It's like you're no, you don't have control, Gemini. And that's because you are being led. Like, you know, some of you guys, maybe you feel like your age is an issue because I don't know. The Odin is sticking out to me and he's an older man. So older man, older woman, take it as it resonates. Some of you guys might feel, because the Joan of Arc was very young. So there could be this energy of like, you know, somebody saying, oh, you're too old for that. You're too old for that. You're too old to jump into a new relationship, right? And this person's got kids or this person's got young kids or this person's this, that. You're too old for this. You're in the season of your life where you sit there at the wall and you just drool, right? You know, no more fun for you, okay? No more passion, no more excitement for you. You're too old for this, okay? Um, somebody can even try to throw health issues out there like, oh, you know, your heart can't take it if you get it too excited. And that person looks like they might bring some excitement to your life. So I don't know, Gemini, like there's something about that, okay? Some of you guys, there, people could be saying you're too old, you're too young, you're too this, you're too that, you're not enough of this. You're not. It's like somebody really wants to doubt, 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 like plant seeds of doubt in your head. Whoever this bird bitch is, it could be one, it could be four, because there's four on the branch. I don't know, guys. That's what it feels like, okay? Yeah, you need to walk away, okay, <laughs> from whatever that energy is, because it's not the vibe, all right? For somebody, it's like, damn, bruh. Like, you know, do you want to like spoon feed me and wipe my booty for me too? Like there's somebody that really is trying to like take over or, or take control of your life. That's just what I'm getting here. Why does Gemini need to stand up to this energy? Because this energy is going to stand up to you, Gemini. What you going to do? You're going to sit there and run and hide, right? Hermit energy, Virgo, plus spirits guiding your words. Spirits telling you what to say, right? It will be very clear. Right? So there's something here where you need to stand up for yourself. You need to clear the air. You need to say what needs to be said. I don't know why I'm getting the headache suddenly, but yeah, this person could be a headache. Or this person just nag, 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 nag all day long. Like they don't encourage you, whoever this is, or they put doubts. They plant seeds of doubt in your head, whoever this is. Okay? I don't know. Look the way she creep in too. It's reminding me of the page of swords in my zombie tarot that I have. How, um... I don't use that deck enough on, on some side shit. But anyways, um, it's reminding me of that card where the Page of Swords is kind of like creeping from around the corner and looking. Somebody could really be spying on you and spying on what you're doing, who you're talking to, where you're going, uh, like, you know? And it's like they might have some kind of like say or something or they feel like they do. 
<clears throat> this could be a boss. This could be somebody who feels like they have some kind of authority in your life. I know you, you're done with this person. You feel like it's a lose-lose situation with this person. Like, damn, bitch. You know? Damn. Okay. <laughs> I don't know, guys. There's something about that. Like, normally I would say, Gemini, watch your mouth. Okay, you know how you could be sometimes, right? Like, you don't want to make people cry. <laughs> just just relax. Chill out, okay? They're giving me that um, that reel where he's like, chill, Sky Daddy. <laughs> he's like, what are you even talking about? I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. But it's giving that energy. Like, normally that's how I am. Like, chill, Sky Daddy, Gemini. Okay, you don't want to have to cut a bitch. It's okay, right? <laughs> like, but I feel like in this situation, spirit saying no. They actually do need to put somebody in their place in this situation, like they do. And if they cry, well, it will water the earth. Okay, <laughs> there's something about that. I don't know, guys. The tears of your enemies are about to be flowing. There's something like that. I don't know why this is your unexpected thing, but it is. Okay. Why you need to stand up for yourself is because you have a higher purpose. You don't have time to be fucking around with these people, okay? You're meant to be out here creating something, shining something, developing. Um, there's some kind of energy of maybe um, you're meant to work with like-minded people or you're meant to be in healing situations, situations that make you feel healed. This situation that you're in right now is not doing that, Gemini, okay? Oh, what is Gemini being led through currently? What is Gemini being... Oh. You have the three of cups that wanted to come out with the, the sail away. Okay, the six of swords. Yeah, nonsense, right? Nonsense. Like, I don't have time for this. I don't have time to sit here and like, you know, drink my life away, smoke my life away, do things that are completely unproductive to my time, to my emotional development, to me, right? There's something about that. I feel like you're being led away from low vibing people, low vibing connections, People who possibly just want to sleep with you to kind of harvest your energy. There's an energy harvester out here. Okay. This could be somebody who wants to tempt you sexually. Um, and this person, you know, I feel like they're way too old to be doing something like that. There's something about this older woman in the middle. This person could be older or they look older or there's something going on with this person. Okay. Uh, this person could wear yellow a lot. This person could be a witch because this is my coven card. So I don't know. Take it as it resonates. I'm not, not every witch is bad. I get it, guys. But I'm just saying for this situation, there's somebody who wants to tempt you. I feel like you're being asked to leave that situation behind, Gemini. Deuces. Okay? There's something about that. There's going to be a tower for this person. This person could be a Scorpio because I feel like this person is just very confident that you will never leave them. It's one of those type of people like, oh, they'll be back right or like oh um you know what they're gonna find something better than this i don't know there's something about that. there's something about that i don't know why somebody feels like you're never gonna find something better than that gemini but okay bruh like you and your saggy titties can go there's something i'm sorry I don't know where this reading is going. Y'all are going to have to tell me if it makes sense. This don't make no sense to me. But look, there's the devil. I told you. Capricorn energy. This person could be a Capricorn for sure. They're like, come on. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But just, you, you have to understand. My guys are so silly. Like, you know. But they're like, yeah, like there's something about that. Like, you know, you want ice cream, you want ice cream. I got all the ice cream that you can handle, right? <laughs> you want ice cream, I got ice cream. You want money, you want sex, okay? <laughs> you want pleasure. They're showing me um, from Beetlejuice where he had set up the pleasure house or whatever and the little um, community that the guy had built and the girls are dancing they're like, Tum. I don't know. There's something about that, guys. Somebody really gonna try to tempt you to stay in a comfort zone, basically, to stay somewhere where it's com it's a comfort zone for them. It's not so comfortable for you. You've outgrown this a long time ago, Gemini. You don't want to be a part of this. You don't fuck with them. Remember, okay? There's something about that, and this person is going to come in and really try to tempt you to the point of where they'll damn near start stripping. And you don't really want them to, but it's like they will do whatever. I'm getting the energy of somebody trying to leave and somebody like being like, no, and like throwing themselves on their like ankle 
and like getting drugged along. Like that's the energy they're giving me. Like somebody is not wanting to let you go. They might not be showing you this currently, but this energy is coming. This is what you don't see coming, right? This isn't what you see coming. This is what you don't see coming. So there's something here where it's like, you don't see somebody begging you not to leave or begging you not to do something, begging you to stay. Look, it's a channel sponsor. Gemini, I feel like you're moving on to something bigger and better. I gotta be real with you, right? Like you might've been fucking around with this King of Cups energy, male or female. This is just somebody who watches from a distance, maybe watches your every move, right? To dictate you. Either you're stepping out of this energy and you're moving into your emperor energy. We're like, no, this is my life. I make the decisions. Or you're moving away from something like that to move to something better. Two of Cups is popping out. This could damn sure be somebody who doesn't want you to be in a connection, doesn't want you to be in a relationship. Um, want you to stay with them or want you to stay single. I don't know why they would want you to stay single, but they do. This could be for somebody, okay? Um, or this could be going on with your partner. I don't know, guys. You guys got to make it make sense, okay? For sure. Let's go ahead and get some advice and additional messages and skid at. Because I got things to do today. As fucking usual. What time is it? Okay. Got, it's 50 minutes that we've been filming. That's not too bad. What else do we have going on here with Gemini? Okay, advice and additional messages. We have the fire magic. Some of you guys are magicians and that energy is about to show up in a crazy way. Like some of you guys might think something and it happens. Like you might go out there and you might be like, damn, my petunias are looking really dry. I wish we could get some rain around here, right? Like looking up at the sky and all of a sudden the rain just instantly starts to fall, okay? Some of you guys could be driving along and the light could be, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know why they're showing me the energy of the light going from yellow to green. It's supposed to go from yellow to red, but there could be something here where you're like, no, I don't need you to turn red. I need you to turn green. I need you to stay green, right? And it goes to green instead of red. That's the weirdest thing, but that's what they just showed me. <clears throat> There's going to be something that happens that you think it or you say it and you say it with such conviction. It's like you unleash that fucking magician energy that's been inside of you this whole time. And when you do it, it's like, wow, it even shocks you like you weren't expecting it. But then it shows you, Gemini. That's the thing. Like it shows you, wow, I really am a magician or wow, I really do have some kind of power here. I really do need to start taking this shit a little bit more seriously. I need to go read the manual. I need to see what like, you know, because some of y'all might have threw the manual away, right? You might have been like, yeah, I know I got some kind of intuition and gifts and all that good stuff, but it's okay. I'll read the book later. I don't know why they're giving me such Beetlejuice energy, but they're giving me the book for uh, for recently deceased or whatever, where they're like, okay, they take it. They never really look at it. And she's like, why haven't you read the book, right? And they go and they're like, okay, they're flipping through it. It's something about that. Something about that, guys, okay? Ooh. We have meditation to dig deep. And you do, Gemini. Listen, I feel like you summon all of your ancestors to tell this person off. I don't know who this is or what this is. I feel like you're just like, <sighs> right? <laughs> like, and then you just tell them. I don't know. There's something about that where you're just like, I have to dig deep here, okay, to, to tell you what the fuck it is and what the fuck it isn't because clearly you have me fuck. You're going to say fuck a lot, Gemini. For, for some of you guys, you might be using fuck like a comma. Like, you might feel like you need to take a bath after this conversation because you might be like, damn, I did, I went there, I went in. I went in. There's something about that, okay? But yeah, in general though, meditation could be something that you need to get into, Gemini, or get back into. Take it as it resonates. Some of you guys, there is going to be some kind of hidden treasure that's going to be found though, too. This could be in the dark corners of your mind like you might unlock something or unleash something and this could be very unexpected we have healing waters yeah you're being healed from a situation or cleansed or again shown the way out through the darkness um and there's going to be a reprieve here if it's been really like dry or stagnant or something there's about to be this growth or this healing energy that comes in guys okay accept love don't turn love down right now genuine real love and i'm not just talking about romantic i'm talking about platonic and genuine um energy of people who care because again you're not the only uh equalizing light working badass on bitch out there right now like there's other people out here on this planet too that are doing that and you might come across somebody like that and y'all might kind of have your hands on your swords be looking at each other <laughs> they're giving me the energy of like a mexican standoff or something where y'all are just like staring at each other like are you friend or foe and it's like y'all realize you're friends and you're like oh okay right well Guess I'll put this little bad boy away. 
for, for another day. I don't know. There's something about that, guys, okay? Like, it's, a, it's okay to trust people, basically. The, you, the ones you feel like you can, because obviously not everybody. I feel like there's always got to be a little disclaimer, right? And we have affirmation for growth. Yeah, something is about to grow, what you don't see coming. And look at her face. She's like, ha, 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 right? It's giving the energy of like, got him. I don't know. I feel like spirit sees you in this energy right now of like all is lost or this ain't going to work out or this is going to be a huge trap. It's going to be a huge mistake. There's something about that. But I feel like spirit knows something you don't know, but you're about to know, right? And when you find this out, you see that this is good for you or this is a growing situation or growth is going to happen. You're going to feel like, damn, spirit. You really did have me going there for a second. It's that kind of energy, guys, okay? All right, guys, that has been your reading. I do hope that it helps. I hope it techni- I, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck that was. That was my brain shutting down for a second. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. I hope it does something. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.